If you're like me and you were considering purchasing the Monoprice 15-inch powered PA speaker, you went to YouTube and was looking for videos about them to try to inform your purchase. Uh, I didn't find any, so when I finally did get my hands on my pair that you see before us, I definitely wanted to take a video to tell you about them, so that way you can make a more informed decision. Uh, so I made a big gamble. I sold my other speakers, and I bought these sight unseen, uh, but that gamble paid off because these speakers are fantastic. In short, if you are on the fence about getting these, just go ahead and buy them because they are an incredible value, and uh, on top of that, just, just, just great speakers overall. So let's take a look at what you get. This is what uh, the, the PA speaker looks like from the front. Very standard. You got your tweeter on the top, and then you got a 15 inch, um, what do you call that, driver with the Mono Price logo there at the bottom. But what really makes this speaker very nice, especially for me who has to carry this crap in and out uh, in my day to day, is that you have this nice, we'll start at the top and we'll work our way around. At the top, you have this nice recessed handle. And then, uh, for me, I actually like to mount lights to here. You have this little plastic cover that if you take off, it exposes a nut. And for 20 cents at the hardware store, you can get a nut that screws in here. You can mount lights to the top of these. You could put eye bolts if you wanted to fly these, some part of permanent installation rig. Then we look around at the side here. You got a nice handle on the side. You spin it around. You got a nice handle. On the other side as well so you can take both hand, two hands and grab it on either side to lift it up onto a speaker pole or you can carry it around at the top and if all of this wasn't enough you can see yes at the bottom it's got wheels so you can roll it it's really hard with holding the camera and rolling it around but uh, so the wheels I don't think you know, I'll, I'll get too, too much use out of. I'll probably use the handles more often. I would use the wheels that came with it. The problem, the, the one downside to the speaker, and this is the only thing I can fault it for, is you can see the top here is sort of domed. So you can't, the, the speakers don't very easily nest one on top of the other. So you can't rest both speakers on top of one another and then use the wheels and sort of wheel it around. That's the only, my only suggestion for any kind of improvement to this thing, because it is awesome. Uh, so about the speaker, uh, it's not a class AB amplifier. It is actually a class D amplifier. So what that means is that 100% of the energy that you're putting into this thing 90% uh, is coming out of sound, and, and then only 10% is coming out as heat. With my old speakers, and with most traditional class AB amplified speakers, you put in 100% of sound, and then 50% comes out as sound, and then the other 50% comes out as heat. And you can tell just by looking at the back of this, there's no heat sinks or anything. I mean, you got your plug here. That's your standard power plug. You got your power switch, but there's no, I don't know what you call it, bad heat stuff, you know, that you would associate with a regular class um, AB amplifier. So I bought this because it's using the latest and greatest amplifier technology because it was only around like, I think, 160 bucks. And if you wait around till when Monoprice does like a free or discounted shipping thing, maybe you could save even more money. Uh, it's powered. So I have two powered speakers that I was using. I was using two 8-inch speakers, and I wanted to upgrade to something more substantial. Now, this thing weighs 41 pounds, but it doesn't feel like 41 pounds because it's really easy to get a hold of. It's not awkward. It's easy and to move around. And it sounds fantastic. We're four minutes into the video. I still haven't talked about how it sounds. Sounds freaking great. So on the back, I apologize for the bad light. But you've got an XLR mic input, quarter inch mic input, and then gain for that. Uh, then you've got your line input, where you can use either RCA or XLR. Then you got volume for that. And then really interestingly, you have this thing called line level. I didn't have this on my other speakers. So this is 
like a second volume knob. You have the volume of how, how loud the speaker is going, but then this is tied to the input of how much sound do you want to draw from the CD player or the computer or the turntables that you have plugged into here, which is really great when we get to the line output down here, and you can output either quarter inch or XLR. Uh, this, if you turn this up, this increases the volume of the output or decreases the volume of the output as well. So the other speakers that I was using, it just had a volume knob. So if your speakers were turned down here, then you were automatically turning down your subwoofers below. Here, I can leave my subwoofers on high and then adjust the volume of this either higher or lower, which is really, really, really great. So the short version of that is any speaker that you daisy chain next to this is going to sound fantastic. It's going to sound really good. Any speaker that you uh, are plugging audio cables through this unit, it's going to come out and the sound is really clean and really loud and really full and really awesome. And then, of course, you've got treble and then bass. Then it's also got the nice feature of... Uh, the power lights clipping, the power lights so that you know it's on, and then your clip red clipping light. And as the old saying goes, if you're in the red, you're dead. But it takes a while. You got to crank these speakers. They got a lot of headroom, so you got to turn them up a lot before you get into the red zone. Uh, I also have one open as a part of another project that I'm doing, so we can actually take a look at the guts of the mono price speaker, which is something you might not do over the lifetime that you have uh, these cabinets but they're pretty easy to get apart. Uh, you can see there's about 10 or so screws around the whole periphery, uh, and to get at them, you do need a super long, what I like to refer to as the screwdriver of justice, the two foot long screwdriver, to get at all those, because they're nested in there pretty good. But once you open this, it's actually deceptively simple. All the electronics that are in here. You have the tweeter, which is the top speaker, which is, and they, this is a bi-amplified speaker, so you essentially have two amplifiers running two speakers. So this is the, the amplifier, and it looks really small. When you see how big the thing it's nested in, it is just a really little small amplifier. And that's the coolest part about Class D amplifiers. If this was a Class A, B amplifier, it'd fill up that whole space with heat sinks, maybe a fan or two. Uh, and just lots of electrical components. With the Class D, it's you get just as much power with far less electricity. These whole two speakers, I can run one of these speakers, maybe not both of them at the same time, but I can run one speaker off of a 200-watt inverter, if you can believe that. It, it, uh, they don't have, it's deceptive because the wattage numbers on these aren't that impressive in the scheme of things, but because they're using Class D amplifiers, the sound that they put out is, is really big, really full sound. Uh, I was using these for the first time last week, and I had to be very careful because I almost blew out everybody at the wedding that I was DJing. I almost had the volume turned up too much. So you got it. So there. So having too much power, having a lot of power to play with, is what you want with a pair of these kinds of speakers. I use them with subwoofers. I wouldn't use them uh, as just if you bought a pair as a standalone DJ system. If I was first starting out, I would, uh, and you would be okay. But I like adding subs because then you get frequencies that these speakers just won't cover. My fiance had a really good question. She asked, like, why can't you just buy one speaker that does everything? And I'm like, well, just because they do different frequencies and you need, you know, it's like having one instrument for a whole band, pretty much. But this comes pretty close. If you just had to buy one speaker to use, uh, you know, this would be great. And this would be great for tailgates or you know, anything where you want a lot of sound. Uh, it's very efficient with the amount of electricity it uses. So if you were plugging something into a car, like a tailgate, this would be ideal. So... I uh, interrupted myself after we talked about the tweeter, and we took a look at the amplifier. Uh, these The cabinets aren't anything to write home about. I mean, they're your standard plastic cabinets, but that's pretty much uh, the industry standard, and it makes it lightweight, you know, it's and they do plastic cabinets right, with the exception that you can't nest them. They have all those handles, so very easy to move around, very easy to transport, and I don't think the 
plastic cabinets cut too badly down on the sound. If you're a true audiophile, I'm sure you're going to use like Baltic pine wood cabinets or something. They'll weigh a million pounds. But when you're schlucking these in and out of wedding receptions, this is they're pretty they're pretty much what you want. So the driver, as you can see, we have a 15 inch driver. You got the giant magnet on the back of it, and this thing's secured pretty nicely to the front. And there's only four wires going to the, the speaker. So heaven forbid you were to blow a speaker. I'm not that much of an electronics guy, but I could pretty much figure this out. I could solder a wire if I needed to, uh, and I don't expect that I, that I ever would. But it's really amazing how easy the breakdown is. For example, if you blew this, you would buy a new 15-inch driver. You would unscrew the things around the side. You would plop the new 15-inch driver on here and then reattach the wire and re-solder the wires at the top. Same thing with the tweeter, if you, if you busted a tweeter. Uh, I did have to warm these speakers up a little bit. When I first turned them on, my tweeter wasn't working. Uh, and that's just sometimes speakers just need warmed up. You know, you need to run some electricity through all the components and just start warming the cones and, uh, you know, putting some music through there to... Just like a new pair of boots, you got to wear them in a little bit. So once I had some music going in for about two minutes, then the tweeter popped into action. Uh, so that's that. So that's really all I have to say about these speakers. I have a lot to say about these speakers because I'm in love with these speakers. I wish Monoprice would have come out with these years ago so I didn't have to DJ for two years with my old um, Gemini-style speakers. So if you want to spend a million dollars on speakers... These speakers aren't for you. If you are using, if, if you're dead set on that you want a 12-inch speaker or a 10-inch or an 8-inch speaker, I was using a pair of 8s before, these speakers aren't for you because Monoprice only offers the 15-inch. But what I would wholeheartedly recommend is, I mean, but I can't, I can't recommend these enough. I can't recommend these enough is pretty much what it boils down to. Get a pair of these and you have the perfect DJ setup, get one of these even, and you can rot, and you can do dance parties or house parties and uh, bring the noise. So they're awesome. Cheap, classy amplifiers and all sorts of speakers are wonderful. Uh, I think the biggest thing that people would, you know, say is, oh, do I want to get these or do I want to save all my money for a pair of Mackies or Behringer's or like a brand name or do I want to really save my money and get like a pair of K8's or the QSC's everybody's talked about the QSC's and this has the same technology as the QSC's it's not going to run as many watts through it so it's ultimately not going to be as loud as either of those but if you're just looking for something that sounds good and is not going to be crazy crazy loud is still plenty loud on its own and still uses that same class d amplifier technology then i would definitely go with uh the monoprice speakers i'm ready to rename myself dj monoprice because now i use all monoprice cables and i got monoprice speakers i'm like i just need a monoprice t-shirt and shoes and uh you know, as soon as they start making underwear, I'll be the first to buy it. I love this company. So that's it for my review. I hope it helped you out with some kind of decision uh, that you want to make. I'd play the speakers, but my cell phone microphone sounds so shitty that it would be a disservice to how great these speakers sound. Uh, and that's it. I'll see you next time.